Dream has done a lot of manhunts in his time, and I went through each and every single one of them to find the best clutches. I finally narrowed it down to seven, and for the next seven days, I'm going to try my best to master each and every one of these clutches. If I can't do it by the end of the week, then that means I'll have failed the challenge. But I guess the question is, will I be able to complete it? And also, really quickly, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing. This channel is extremely new, so if you guys could subscribe, it would be helping me out a lot. And I mean, hey, it's free. And if you guys ever feel like unsubscribing, you literally always can. So, subscribe. And now, enjoy the video. I decided to start with the Lava Boat Clutch, just because it seemed like it would be the easiest. Oh boy, was I wrong. As you can see in the clip, Dream is running away from the hunters and covers a large gap of lava using only boats. So I decided to grab some obsidian and a flint and steel and headed to the nether. After a bit of searching, I found somewhere where I could start jumping. I filled my inventory with boats, set my spawn point, and started jumping. And let's just say things... Uh, it didn't go well. Alright, I've got my boat. I don't know if I'll be able to get it first try. I'm hoping I can, but like, I don't know. Let's see. Oh no! So... Boom, boom. This is gonna be long. Managed to that time. I managed to. Finally get this is gonna be quick. Easy work, easy. Yeah, and it wasn't easy. In fact, I continued to die for another 30 minutes straight before I decided to rage quit and took a break. At this point, I was really frustrated, so I took a breather and came back 10 minutes later. I decided to search on YouTube for some help and came across a video from a guy called Vexily. He said that you should start with playing blocks and water as it will get you into the rhythm of the lava boat clutch. So that's what I started doing. Okay, four, that's not, wait, no, five, five actually, wow. After doing this for a little bit longer, my confidence was back up again. I headed to the nether, determined to get it down this time. I created a small little platform for me to jump off of, and I began boat clutching. Each time, I would get closer and closer to Dream. He managed to do four in survival mode, so I set a personal challenge for myself. Five boat jumps. I continuously failed for about ten minutes straight until, well, this happened. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Five. Five. Let's go. That's a W. We went past Dream. But we are in creative, so I'm going to try it in survival, but honestly, if I don't get it in survival, that's a dub. I don't mind. You know what? I'm going to take the dub. <laughs> I'm going to take the dub. So the next clutch I'm going to be doing is the horse clutch that Dream does in Minecraft Speedrun vs. 3 Hunters. Uh, as you can see in the clip on screen, Dream uh, gets hit off by Bad Boy Halo and as he is falling to the ground, manages to right click a horse and avoids dying in the process. A lot of the hype for this trick was how fast he was able to recognize the horse and click it. So this is probably going to be the easiest, if not one of the easier clutches in this video. So yeah, hopefully I can do it. Let's get into it. All right, we've got the horse down there, and now we gotta see if we can clutch this. This is the first attempt. Let's see if we can get it. Oh god! Oh uh oh. Okay, you know what? I need to stop. I was holding back. I was holding back. Watch this. Easy, easy. So yeah, on my third try, I managed to get the horse clutch. Now, moving on to the next clutch. It's the start of day two, meaning that we have six days left in our seven day challenge. We managed to get two whole clutches down, the lava boat and the horse clutch. And today we're going to be doing one of the more difficult clutches in the challenge, the flying boat clutch. As you can see on screen, Dream does this clutch by falling off of a mountain. And when he falls off the mountain, he's constantly getting in and out of the boat repeatedly to prevent taking fall damage. This is actually really cool and I want to see if I'll be able to do it for myself. So yeah, let's just get into it. All right, I've got my inventory full of boats. And yeah, I'm ready to start flying boat clutching. Let's see if we can do it. I'm not sure if this is going to be hard or easy, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to do it, so. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I walk off? The thing is, do I take damage from this? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't take any damage. Let's go. I did that on my second try. 
All right, this is the fourth clutch that we're going to be doing so far, and now we're going to be doing the scaffolding MLG. And you've seen the one where he's on half a heart, and he jumps off a mountain, and he's able to MLG using the scaffold. And I think that the sheer distance that he's covering when he MLGs is just really impressive, so I decided to add this one to the list. And now, let's get right into it. We're going to be jumping from here all the way down there. Now, if you were to jump all the way down there without any kind of MLG or something like that, you die. It's pretty obvious, okay? This is the first try. Let's see if you can do this. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Wow, let's go. Man, all these are really easy. Maybe I'm just good at the game. I'm good at the game. All right, let's see if we can do this in survival. All right, let's do it. Let's go. I did it. We've successfully managed to do four out of the seven clutches, and we're only on day two. And we only have three more, but the remaining three are going to be hard as hell. It's why I've been saving them for the end. And now, let's move on to the next clutch. All right, for the fifth clutch, we're gonna be doing the Lava Strider Clutch. As you guys can see in the video, Dream Fishing Rods a Lava Strider out of the lava, places a saddle on it, and gets on it before he can die in the lava, and avoids the hunters. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to do this. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, I created a small little platform here, similar to Dream's video. All right, this is my first attempt. Here we go. All right, we got it. Alright, we've got one attached. Let's see if we can get this one. No, it died to fall damage! This is this is looking promising. I think I can get it down in a couple more attempts. It died to fall damage again? Oh man. It. Let's go! I don't have HP as well, I'm so sorry. With five clutches down and now it being day three, the challenge is looking good. However, although things were looking good for the challenge, thought continued to lurk in my mind. I've been putting off the hardest clutches for last and for a good reason. Dream's iconic bow clutch and the scaffold bridge glitch. Two of which I have been attempting to do in my spare time and holy were they hard. I kept trying to get better at these two, but I just couldn't. I knew that we still had more than half the challenge time left, but I wasn't sure if I could ever do these. But sadly, I had to bite the bullet, and in the wise words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it. <laughs> oh god, I hate myself. I decided to start with the bow clutch, mainly because someone else had done this before me. A YouTuber named RecRap2 made a video where he perfectly recreated Dream's bow clutch. It's a great video, I recommend you watch it. I've actually left a link to it in the description, so watch it after you finish this one. Following his guidelines, I set up a tower, put down a crafting table, and I gotta work. There are two essential parts to this clutch. The crafting and the actual, you know, placing of the boat. So I decided to start with the placing of the boat just because it seemed like the easier one to get down. So that's what I did. All right, this is my first attempt with the boat clutch. I'm gonna try my best to land in the boat. Next, I'll focus on crafting. Let's go! I got that part down! Alright, let's try one more time. Wow, I've got this down! Down pretty well, but I'm gonna see if I can get three in a row. If I can get three in a row, like, pretty consistently, then I'd be happy. I proceeded to spend all of days four and five with no result. The problem was that Dream had been on a server while doing this clutch, which made him experience a little lag and gave him more time for crafting. I was doing this on my own, so I tried to change a couple things, but I still only got... 75 hell 50 percent of the time he was getting i'll be honest while i could lie to you and say that i was fine i wasn't i wanted to quit i really wanted to quit until i realized something there was a way i could craft a boat in this short amount of time sure it wasn't the same as how dream did it but it would make it possible by using the crafting recipes i was able to more consistently craft the boat I know Dream didn't do this, but I mean, hey, cut me some slack. It was either this or nothing. I then went to spend the next hour straight using this method. As you can tell, I was pretty angry. Pissing me off! Why do I keep dying for landing it? Until finally, 
it happened. Let's go! Let's go! It's the start of day 6 and as for the final clutch the scaffolding glitch bridge, I decided to drop it. I couldn't manage to find a server I could even use, it requires some server lag meaning I wouldn't be able to do it on a single player world. So instead, here's a really high up MLG water bucket. Enjoy! Oh wow, it did it. First try. What the heck? Actually did that? That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to try and get two more in a row. I managed to complete the challenge on day 6. Sure, I cut a couple of corners, but overall, I think I've done good work here. It was a lot of fun making this video, so if you guys could subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And yeah, goodbye.